I am the uh, Theater Strategic Health Facility Planner for Task Force Med Afghanistan. Now, what the team is doing today is they're installing the first of uh, three MRIs that are being delivered into theater. Uh, the first site that we're establishing is here at Bastion, the second site will be at Kandahar, and then the third site will be at uh, Bagram Airfield. Uh, they're all adjacent with the three rule threes at each of those locations. And it is a, it is a uh, radiological augmentee. Uh, it's used to uh, look into soft tissue damage uh, within the body, and it's uh, something that allows the clinicians to uh, look deeper into the uh, human, uh, uh, all right. it, it allows them to look into the soft tissues of the human body. Uh, obviously all the U.S. service members will benefit that are here on uh, Leatherneck and Bastion. Uh, there, it is open for other personnel within the other services coalition forces as the uh, clinicians deem it necessary uh, to both uh, diagnose and help treat whatever injuries they may have. The MRI, the, all three of them were, were conceptualized months ago, uh, probably the late fall of last year at the strategic level with the uh, Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff level. Uh, they came and did a uh, site assessment and uh, made a determination there would be some value with the MRIs being in theater. Uh, from that point, it was uh, dialogue between the theater assets that were here in the medical community, both in the Army, the Air Force, and the uh, Marines. Uh, and what we did was we took that concept, we evaluated what it would take to uh, make it executable in this austere environment. That included everything from the staffing, the IMIT pipelines, the uh, site preparation work, uh, the sustainment and maintenance uh, with regards to fuels and consumable Class 8 supplies. So we took all that, we planned that into the uh, timeline. The MRIs were shipped from the United States over to Rotterdam, where they were integrated with the uh, trailer units, and they did a uh, holistic, what we call factory acceptance test, which basically ran the MRI based off of the uh, prime power of the generator and the UPS system and then the emergency generator that's mounted on the trailer. And that's very important because these are the first MRIs that we've had in the uh, Department of Defense that have been run off of prime, uh, emer or, excuse me, prime power generations versus shore power where it's tied into a, uh, a base power grid somewhere. So uh, there were concerns about the reliability of the power and the, uh, the clarity of the electricity going into the MRI to give a good clean read on the MRI image. So we have a lot of backup and redundancy. So all that was merged in at Rotterdam at the factory. The MRIs were then loaded up on some vehicles. They were shipped over to Amsterdam. Uh, once they got to Amsterdam, they were then loaded onto the Antonov, and we used the Antonov because it's the only plane that we have in the inventory that was able to take the clearances of the, uh, of the MRI trailer. Uh, the Antonov flew into uh, Bastion two evenings ago. Uh, we offloaded the first MRI, and then we re-set uh, the equipment inside the Antonov so it could then uh, take off for Kandahar. Oh, absolutely. Uh, as I said earlier, they're, they're designed uh, to uh, be able to operate in this environment. You've got high temperatures here in the Helmand province area. You've got high temperatures down in Kandahar. Uh, you've got very extreme cold temperatures up in Bagram. So the design had to be able to take it from the high temperature environment to a cold temperature environment. You've got elevational issues at Bagram we had to take into consideration. Uh, the mere fact that we were flying a charged, a charged MRI into theater uh, that is a relatively unique thing, and as I said earlier, there's no MRI that we have in the Department of Defense inventory uh, that's been run off of a generated power source using a, a generator versus a shore power uh, tie-in. Well, you have, the, you have the trailer. Inside the trailer is the MRI unit. There's also a workstation console, and the trailer is supported by the primary generator. Uh, which is a 9 liter generator that uh, puts out, I believe, 460 volts. Uh, that has the UPS back up to it, so should the generator uh, fail, uh, let's say it has a mechanical failure or something like that, it has an emergency generator that's mounted on the trailer as well as a UPS system. And between those two systems, you'll be able to have some operational life to the MRI. The worst case uh, scenario is it just has to be shut down it gives the MRI technician the ability to shut the MRI down without losing the cryogens inside the MRI unit, which is very critical because cryogens, liquid cryogens, is not something that we have available in theater. It has to be flown in from other, uh, from the United States. So if that purges, uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like a geyser that shoots out the top of the trailer. 
and then all those cryogens will have to be refilled at another time before we can put the MRI back into use. Well, I like the fact that I get uh, to work with a lot of other great folks. I mean, we've had a lot of interface with other department uh, services. We've worked with the Air Force on this one. We've worked with the Navy. We've worked with the Marines here. Uh, we've worked with uh, Rapid Equipping Force, Navy Med Logcom. So this has really spanned a, a broad spectrum of organizations, both in the government and outside the government, with Phillips and the Smith Company in the Netherlands. Uh, but for me, it's the ability to, to leave a footprint and, and, and leave something here whenever we finish up as a team that we believe is going to have some significant positive impact on the health care for all service members and our coalition partners in the future. Just that this has been a, a team effort from the word go. Uh, this is not about one organization or one service or one company or one body. Uh, it has taken a, a number of months to do this and I think that we've successfully executed this to be able to do this from concept to execution and placing these three MRIs into this theater and a fully operational capability in less than 11 months, in my opinion, is a major success.